So I got here and I got to meet Alex Gray, who is a professional surfer. And I've never met him before and I've never worked with him before. And I have to confess, I had uh, never seen any of his surfing videos. So it was really cool to get to know him. I've been paired up with Alex, Andra. We got two Alexes, so we got a, I'm Alexander, she's Alexandra, I think. Uh, I'm a paddleboard instructor and a stand-up paddleboard yoga instructor. Uh, I'm also uh, an avid adventurer. Even though I'd been on this coastline, it was both her and my first time doing a lot of this stuff, so it's rad having a buddy to go into it together. Okay, I guess if she's doing it, I gotta follow. <laughs> we were led by this amazing guide, Dave, who is with South Coast Tours, and he's just a spectacular individual. He knows this area so well. It's really awesome to work with a local who knows all the secret spots. Welcome to the South Coast, you guys. I'm so stoked to go do fun stuff with you. Awesome. You ready Thanks. to go? Yeah, sweet. Show us around. All right, let's go. Right on. South Coast Tours <laughs> offers all kinds of paddle sports uh, adventures. We do kayaking in the rivers and in the ocean, as well as stand-up paddleboarding, fishing, van tours, and now we're offering in partnership with Occidental Unlimited historic boat tours on the Coquille River. There are stretches of the south coast that are very unique. We have this stretch called the Arches Territory. It's south of Gold Beach and there are these rock arch formations that are just all over that stretch and it's just super unique. You can paddle through them, you can take good pictures of them, you can hike out around them. It's just a really special place. We're in the harbor. It's a, it's a glorious harbor. We're gonna go that way on the kayaks. It's pretty much what I know. paddle Port Orford today. There you go. My friend Alex. See, <laughs> he's got the details. Don't ask me, ask the, ask the boss. <laughs> tell them, tell them where we're going. Come we're gonna on. go to Port Orford Heads today. We're gonna paddle through the Aquarium Arch. We're gonna go see Nellie's Cove. See? Uh, we're gonna go through Hell's Gate. It's Ooh. gonna be awesome. Doesn't the weather's perfect. Doesn't sound inviting? Hell's Gate does not sound inviting. <laughs> all right, sounds like we're gonna experience yeah. it all, man. Charge. Kayaking. We're gonna see a lot of that good stuff later when the tides drop. Um, for now, it's all pretty covered up because I think it's high tide right right now. All right, you guys, let's go see some sea caves. Yeah. We had the opportunity to go paddle through these natural, beautiful stone arches where there's a lot of wildlife growing on them. There's birds that have nested there, and then of course, you know, in the water there's sea stars and sea anemones, and the arches are inaccessible by car or by hiking. You have to paddle to them or paddle through them. So it was a really secluded, beautiful place that we had the opportunity to go through with the help of Dave, of course, we never would have been able to find them without him. The way this coastline curves, it can be victory at sea, but if you know which kind of cove to hang under, you're in this beautiful kind of blissful glass condition. And I think that's where you become very lucky to have a local guide so that you know where to go when conditions aren't ideal. <laughs> You're good, John. Maybe hang here for a sec. Let it calm down a little. Or go. <laughs> we can go. <laughs> I think the, the feeling that I continue to, to have is a very small human in a big world. It's one thing to be in the car and peer over these cliffs, but to be actually under them and see how massive they truly are is, it's incredible. You just feel insignificant. You have all of this anticipation of going and seeing these certain things but once you get there the area just takes your breath away you paddle through these arches into this beautiful open area and there's cliff faces and birds and waves and iridescent glitter seaweed in the water it's a very special place um, there's no place like that that I know that you can go through that many arches. I think on our trip uh, this last weekend, 
We went through about 10 arches in a matter of two hours. I don't know of anywhere else where you can do that.